Shalom family, Shalom. We're back in the book room tonight to read, continue our read, our Black History read from the book entitled The 13 Black Colonies by Lee Cummins. Um, we're on page 103. We're, we're halfway, almost halfway through it. Page 103. So we're going to get a read in for tonight. I'm just finishing up a bite to eat. So I'll give you all a few, a few minutes, a few, a few people, a few minutes to come in. I know y'all gonna get tired of me, but we need to know our history so we can uh, help bring our people. We gotta do our weekend on our part to uh bring our people back to the covenant. You know, we can always be a light, a witness and a light. Most highs on them that can wake us up. But um maybe when somebody hears, you know, you never know what a person will hear and Bang, the bell goes off and they're in. They're in, you know. I told you I was sitting in my kitchen table and all I heard was remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. And it, it just, bam, after 30, over 30 years of pastoring, it just hit me. The thing is, I, I was never angry about it. I was disappointed more than anything. I was just disappointed that it was possible to be, it's possible to be deceived to, to something so close to the truth or seem to be so close to the truth, especially when you're dealing with the word of Yah. And uh, to realize that you've been teaching uh, incorrectly, maybe with the best that you had and even with the anointing on your life, but that um, you didn't have what it takes to set people truly free. In other words, to as long as as long as we were under that teaching, there was no waking us up. Just like this, it's so hard now because I think we take the role. For me, I t I took the role of. Oh, I gotta get this out. I gotta read. And most, you know, when I was led to do the reading, I'm like, well, people you read this book. We never read them, you know. And I, I mean, I, I tell you, I, I had no problem. I was sending people to Papa and from Babylon, Timbuktu, every time, whoever I talked to, if they were willing to listen, I would send them the books, you know. And, uh, you know, um, I had to realize that I can't, I can't wake nobody up. I can bring them. I can bring them wisdom and knowledge from my, from what I understand. But only Most High can wake us up. Only Hamashiach can wake us up. So um, I had to come to grips with that. I remember um, when I got clean and sober, it was the same way. I just thought everybody was going. You know, I'm clean. I haven't had a drink in two weeks, and I had drinking a drug or two, man. You got to come to the meeting with me. You can get clean. And they was like, that ain't for me, man. Hey, 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 come. That worked for you, bro, but I'm good, man. I ain't got no problem. And I had to accept that. Same thing when I got in the church. When I first got in the church, I wanted to bring everybody to church. And when I, then when I got into the apostolic church, oh, please, everybody had to be baptized in Jesus' name. I wasn't having it. To the point of my Baptist friends, so one of my Baptist friends told me, said, man, you don't know whether you want to be Baptist, Pentecostal, Apostolic, you, you, you confused. And I said, I'm not confused. But he saw, he saw me as confused. You know? And I must say that the Apostolic was the closest that I got to true holiness was being in the Apostolic Church. You know, walking and living 
to the best of my knowledge, I have to say that to the best of my knowledge, I was walking and living right. You know what I mean? I didn't know that we were the people. I didn't know that we would keep the lost as commandments, but I was living by the commandments according to the way I know them. But, you know, of course, I was convinced that the Sabbath was uh, not done away with, but the Sabbath was switched to Sunday. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, we want to get this this history out. Um, if anybody's in the room and you can hear me, put a one in the chat. I know I may not be able to see you, but if you're in the room, I'm going to open up my, my phone. Seeing over your wood, keep the silence. My phone. Do, 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 do. Oh, we got people in the room already. Is that, yeah, is that it? Okay. I'm just talking away. Uh, Damon Terrell, stand back. Good to see you, sir. Uh, Kuti Luz Rodriguez, good to see you. All right, so y'all in the room. I'm up here talking, think I'm killing time and waiting for people to come on so I can't see. That's why if you, if you, if, if, if you choose to, please go on and, and, uh, join in uh on youtube and subscribe so i can see your comments on the on the on the platform and i can put them up in case you, you know you may say something that other people need to hear so we're reading the book the 13 black colonies by lee cummins right so you can go to uh negro questioning bookstore i think that's more directly to lee's site and uh you can go to uh amazon if you want I think you might pay a little more. Not sure. Copy from the, I left in my car. <laughs> okay. So we're reading this and we're, we're, we're on page 103. We're just about halfway through. And uh, we're going to go ahead and continue to read tonight. <clears throat> 13 Black Colonies. And we have learned a lot. We've heard a lot. I can't say I can't say who's learning, who's not, who's who's receiving, who's rejecting. But that's on the individual. The scriptures do say he to have an ear, let him hear. And uh, Professor Cummins has scriptures in here as well, and um, I go to them as they come up. But uh, okay, so we're in chapter six of thirteen black colonies, and I'm going to start reading. Okay. It says. Uh, Black Scottish Highlanders, Black Scottish Highlanders, Joseph Ritson. The Highlanders are generally uh, demi, 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 diminutive, hmm, I need a dictionary, with brown complexion and almost always with black curly hair and dark eyes. Uh, Annals of Calder, Calder, Cal, uh, Caledonian. Angels of Caledonian Picks and Scots by uh, Joseph Ritson, Volume 2. Uh, Edinburgh, 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 uh, Ward D. Lang, 1828, footnotes, page 7 and 27. Here's an image of King Robert III of Scotland, 1390, 1406. There's an image of them. I remember I told you these are black and white, so I can't. Looks like a brother to me. Joseph Risson and Professor Boyd Dawkins are in agreement with the Highlanders stewards. That I mean that the Highlanders stewards were black people, but wait until you see the ship manifest. Pages 135, 137, and 139, and the writing of former English uh, Secret Service agent John Mackey, page 187. They will leave you speechless. The documents are breathtaking. Image of James I, 1406 uh, to 1437. Uh, King of Scotland, Highlander of Scotland, book, Story of the British Nation, Volume 2, 
author Walter Hitchinson. Hutchinson, sorry. And incog in incognographia, incognographia, uh, uh, iconographia, uh, Scotia, John Pinkerton, 1797. This is a picture of the image of uh, James, image of James, King of Scotland, James I, King of Scotland. Here's his picture. Okay. Next one, James, I mean, King James II, Jacobite, King of Scotland. Jacobite means what? That means he's a descendant of Jacob. He's 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 a Yahudi. Okay. King of Scotland, 1431 to 1460. Highlanders of Scotland. Location, inscription, historica, historica, uh regime, R-E-G-V-M, uh Scott Scott Scottor, Scottor R B M. I don't know how to say these words. Uh uh Hohannes Johnston uh Amsterdam Amsterdam and I could I could iconographia Scottish John Pinkerton again 1770 1797 this is King James II you see him All right. I think we got a, a whited out version and then a regular version here. King James III, Jacobite of King of Scotland. Highlander, 1450, 1488. Image location, uh, Tamoth Castle. And book, I, 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 Iconographia uh, Scotia by John Pinkerton. So all these are by John Pinkerton, okay, 1797. King James the Fourth. Uh, image location, Jacobite, King of Scotland. 18, I mean, 1488 to 1513. The Highlanders, inscription, historica, uh, Reg v, R, R E G V M Scott to, Scott um, yes Scott O Scott tour or Scott R V M whatever uh, I I I can I can iconographia Scott T John Pinkerton so John Pinkerton these are all the images um, it says uh, Jacobus, actually it says Icobus because there was no J. It says Icobus on the picture. Can you see that? Look at this. Let me see if I can get it in here. Wait a minute. Oh, here we go. This one here. Look at that. Can you see that I? It says Icobus because there was no J. It says Icobus the third Rex Satoru, whatever that word is. Okay, image has been this one here is King James V, Jacobite, King of Scotland, 1512 to 1542. The Highlander. Location historical, same thing, Scott, Scott, Scotrum, and uh uh I could I, I, I could I go. Graphia, Scotia, John Pinkerton, all these by this Pinkerton guy. Um, this image has been tampered with. The face is being whitened. Um, if you look closely at the eyes, you can see that the skin color is still black. And this is what he has here in this one. He's got an arrow pointing to that eye. Okay. So, um, all right, King James the Sixth, Jacobite, King of Scotland, the Highlander, 1567, 1625. 
Okay. Image location, New College Library, Edinburgh, UK. Let's see. Here's this guy. Is this? this is him. King James VI. And it says what? Jacobite. Jacobite. The image states that I am King James. Oh, it, oh, it must be on there. Okay. The image states that I am King James Magna, His Majesty of Britannic of, of Britannia, uh, Gallia, France, so, uh, and Hibernia, Hebrews. Mm. Hibernia is the ancient spelling of Hibar Habara Habarana or Hebrew. This also refers to the inner Hebrides, Ireland, and the outer Hebrides, Scotland. The image was state the image also states that I Rex R E X rays of uh uh Fadil Fadil or Pada Pada or foot of defense. Where did uh these Jacobite kings live? If you said the Highlands of Scotland, you are correct. And based on the writing of Professor Boyd Dawkins and the blacks that were pushed westward into Scotland were Hebrews. These images through, uh, though, though slightly whitened, match the verbal map given to us by Professor Boyd Dawkins. Deportation of the Scottish Jacobites. Deportation of the Scottish Jacobites. King James VI of Scotland wrote uh, wrote the, the Doron Basilica for his infant son Henry in the year 1599. The young Prince Henry died, and King James gave the book to Prince Charles I. This book, Doron Basilica, was written for the benefit of his son, King Charles I, his son. King Charles I, his son, and to, to his seed that was generations away. In this book, King James I admonishes his son not to participate in anything that is Catholic, papis, papis, not to pray with the papis, with a papis, nor to believe with the papis, but his son did not take heed. In, in process of, of, of time, Charles I married a Catholic and brought about a civil war in England. King Charles I lost his head and thousands of black Brits, Irish, Scots, and Welsh were, were deported into the Americas as indentured servants. It is important that I continue to stress that there was already a group of free black Scots in America. These free black Scots that were in America were the seed of the original black founding fathers. And they're the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I have proof that the story that I tell is not a lie. See the book written by Jesuit priest Joseph J. Williams below. The book is titled, Hence the Black Irish of Jamaica and the book tells you how the black Irish, 100,000 black Irish children arrived, uh, arrived there. See image below. It says, Whence the Black Irish of Jamaica by Joseph J. Williams. Here's the picture. Okay. Image location, the book, The Black Irish, author, Jesuit priest J.J. Williams, 1932. These Black Irish were sent to the Caribbean by Oliver Cromwell during the English Civil War of 1641. And I will prove you uh, with further proof I have cropped the image of and blow it up before below to that so that you can get a real good look at these black Irish children. Now it's bigger picture. 
There you go. Uh, that's a better picture. All right. Hmm. Let's play the game one plus one equals two. If 1,000, if 100,000 black Irish children were deported into Jamaica and the Caribbeans, then there had to be at least 100,000 black Irish men and 100,000 black Irish women in, in uh, Ireland. This means that there was at least 200,000 black men, black Irish adults in Ireland, dead or alive. I have always said that the elite have another set of books that they are reading from and over the years uh the research has proven it whence the black iris of jamaica here's another picture this is a grown man look at him yeah okay Again, that's the book, the black, the uh, Wentz, the Black Irish of Jamaica. Okay. And the words under the picture of the of the black man says, uh, tip, uh, typical of the black Irish in Jamaica. So that's what it says on, on the bottom. I see it. It's written real small. Okay. Typical of the black Irish in Jamaica. The Cromwell Edict, 1653. Those who fall to who fail to transplant themselves to uh, Con Connaught or or Clare, Ireland, within six months shall be guilty of high treason, and you will be sent into the Americas or some other part uh, beyond the sea. So this is the this is an edict from from the Cromwell. The Cromwell edict is called. Okay, it said when when the whites invaded Brit Britain. See page three. In 449 AD, they pushed the black blacks west into Britain, Scotland, and Ireland. Cromwell did the same thing. Conoff uh, and Clare is in Ireland, which is west. The the same black Irish was was shipped into Jamaica, Barbados, West Indies, and the American colonies. If you want a clearer understanding of the deport, deportation of the Black Irish, you need to purchase the Negro Question Part 4. And the Part 4, the missing link. I got to get that. I don't have four. Um, uh, this book shows you the two groups going into captivity and one group coming out of Europe and the, and the second group coming out of West Africa. Mm. Both groups of blacks are on the same boat. The old timers used to say that a hard head will make a soft behind, and I guess that is what happened to King Charles I. Now that we have seen this great tragedy, let us now focus on our attention on King Charles II. Image King Charles II of Scotland, the Highland, the location Westminster Abbey, London. Have you ever heard that saying, like father, like son? Well, that's exactly what occurred here. Lightning struck twice and it got the, the same results. This time it was learned that King Charles II was attempting to convert to Catholicism by making a secret deal with the French king. Charles was, Charles was forced to abdicate uh, his throne in favor of his nephew, James II of England. During the reign of the Black George, the Black German King George I, 1714 to 1727, the Jacobites rebelled in England. The Jacobites rebelled in England. This was nicknamed the 15, was nicknamed the 15 because it took place in 1715. The Jacobite coven, coven, uh, covenanters, the Jacobite coveted covenanters, uh, black Jews or uh, black Yehudi, Yehudi uh, were trying to, were were trying to uh, wrest the crown from uh, the black German kings Hanover Hanover and place the black Stuart king back on the throne of England, but this was not to be. The Jacobites were imprisoned. 
ex executed or sent to the colonies on, on convict ships. I want to remind you that the free black Scots that founded the Americas came during the reign of King James I of England, Charles I of England, Charles II of England, and James II of England. The free black Scots came to America in waves, Virginia, 1607, Georgia, 1732, uh, Connecticut, 16, 1662, um england 1620 carolina 1663 hampton 1629 delaware 6, 1701 plymouth 1629 pennsylvania 1681 uh 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 i read virginia already uh maryland 1632 maine 1622 new jersey 1664 and rhode island 1663 so we named them again the second Jacobite rebellion took place in the year 1745 called the 45 under King George II, who was a very evil king. King George, black German king of England, was the first king of England to legalize the enslavement of men. When the state of Georgia was given its first charter, slavery was in illegal, but in 1751, George II legalized slavery. I want you to get this. There was no such thing as slavery in the British colonies because it was illegal. I have a greater witness than this. Come and see. Chapter 7, Ships Manifest and Black Scots. I want to take a few pages of and, and discuss uh, the so-called convicts that were sent into the 13 colonies by the English. I have read plenty of books on the subject and I have discovered that the word convict has been uh, mis misapplied to these political prisoners. When we think of convicts in this generation, we imagine thieves, murderers, uh, pedophiles, rapists, and, uh, pol and politicians. <laughs> they put that in bold. But that was not the case uh, with these convicts. These convicts were political prisoners. The convicts that were sent into the colonies as free men or indentured servants were the nobles, princes, barons, and princesses. Keep in mind that this was a late group of a later group of black Europeans flooding into the colonies. When these black Scottish political prisoners arrived in the 13 colonies, the government had already been established by the free black Scots. Hallelujah. In the book of Isaiah, Isaiah 23 and 13, it reads, Behold, the land of the Chaldeans. This land was not till the Assyrians founded it uh, for them that for them that dwelt in the wilderness. They they set up the, the towers, the, they set up towers thereof, they raised up the palaces thereof, and brought it to ruin. This is the same thing that happened to the black founders founding Scots. They set up the government of the 13 colonies and the whites took it over. I have in my possession ships manifest that give a description of the black stewards and the other highlanders that were deported into the colonies. See the ships manifest on the next page. Come and see. Uh, deportees from England to, to Virginia, 1716. Passenger list translated directly from uh, from Code 5, 190, page 362. The National Archive. <coughs> new, new, new London, new, yeah, new, uh, N-E-W, London, England, new London, England. The official trans transcription of the li this list published by the, the government record office is found in the calendar of state paper col uh, colonial series america and west indies 1574 to 1739 there the name there the name of godfrey is written godfrey i mean godfrey godfrey g-o-r go -O -R, go, -O -R, go -T, is written god god garty so it's g-o-r-t-e-y and, it, and it's written G-A-R-T-E-Y. 
on the same code five, uh, one, 190, page 362 is written, ship scripto, ship scripto, a list of the 95 prisoners that went on, on board the scripto uh, at Liverpool in order for transportation 30th month, 1716, viz, uh, versus record, B-I-Z, record, uh, 30, 30th March, 1716, 95 rebel prisoners, according to the above list, uh, on board the scripto, John, uh, Scar, 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 uh, commander, I guess, a comrade, C-O-M-R, period. In order for transportation, Richard Gil, Gil, Gildard, Hen, Hen, Hen um, Trafford, on the, on the same code 5, 190, page 369, and in the summary uh, information table, 95 rebel shipped March 30th, Scripo, Master, jo, Master John uh, Scarsbrick, bound for Virginia. The black Scots were described as prisoners or rebels because they were trying to reestablish black Scottish rule, rule, rulership in England after the Civil War. Back to uh, back to the ship manifest. Okay. The royal seed of the Stuarts, Highlanders, on the convict ships. King James Stuart, King Charles I Stuart, and King Charles II Stuart. So we have Alex Stewart, Charles Stewart, 76, Alex Stewart, 77, uh, Charles Stewart, 78, uh, Dan Stewart, or Daniel, uh, no, Dan Stewart, um, 79, Dan Stewart, 80, Dan Stewart, John, 81, John Stewart, 82, John Stewart, 83, John Stewart, 84, John Stewart, 85, William Stewart, uh, 12, uh, 12, Peter Cumming, uh, 13, Peter Cumming. Okay. The ship Hawking Hill, Liverpool, England, to, to, to St. Christopher, Leeward Islands, was a uh, West Indies, Liverpool, June 25th, 1716. Treasury so, uh, solic Solicitor Jacobite Rebellion, 1745. Per, uh, persecution Papers, TS 2047, uh, 3, page 8. 25, 25th of June, 1716, shipped on board the uh, Hawken Hill, Captain Hawken Hill, sh short commander of for, for, for St. Christopher, 30 rebels uh, are prisoners at 40s, at 40s each amount to 60 pounds or 40 shekels, each amount of 60 pounds. Um, Board of Trade and Secretary of State, America and West Indies, original correspondence, code five slash 190, page one, 361. Government, a governor of the Leeward Islands, uh, White Hill, 16, August 17, 16. So we got Andrew Ramsey, Mark, uh, ben, ben, uh, Bennerman, uh, Art D. Crystal, Walter Stewart, James Curry, 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 yeah, Curry, C U R R E Y, uh, Lawrence Charter, James Hayes, John Ridley, John uh, James Con Conjelton, Conjelton. Uh, Rob T. Uh, Cresswell, Patrick Gond Gond Gonder, Patrick Gardner, James Cog Coglin 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 Con yeah, Con Conlican, Patrick Murray, William Henderson, William Og Og Ogilvy, uh, Thomas. Del 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 Mahoy, William Hard Hardwick, Walter McLean, William Murray, 
John Robinson, Don Cameron, Alex Ken Kennedy, 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 Kenny Day, Alex McIntosh, Alex McIntosh, Ken Kennedy Bean, Don McPherson, John McCoy, William Ramsey, Thomas McKenzie, Law Law o o Olafat. As you can see that on the ship's Hawking Hill, there was a steward by the name of Walter Stewart. It appears that the English round round rounded up the seed seed of King James Stewart and sent them all into the colonies of as convicts. Ship Wakefield, Liverpool, England, South Carolina, the Americas. Liverpool, April 21st, 1716. Board of Trade and Secretaries of State, America and West Indies, America and West Indies, original correspondence, CO of 5 slash 190, page 358 and 360. Government or governor of South Carolina or commander uh, in chief were with there, Whitehall, 1617, 16. 16 August 16 August 1716 sir I am commanded by the Royal Highness uh, to transmit to you uh, the enclosed list of rebel prisoners who have been ordered to be transported to South Carolina and am to signify to you HRH please that um, a pleasure that you do with all convenient speed return exact list of those rebel prisoners that have landed in the in that providence that the same may be laid before his royal highness ship wakefield which uh, with stewart convict passengers 79 donald stewart these official ship manifests are like hidden nuggets of gold if you understood timelines now we know that there was no slavery in the Carolinas at as late as 1716. This is the critical, this is critical. King George I was the black German king that sat on the throne of England during the deportation of these black Jacobites, Scots, Brits, and Irish in the year 1715. These rebels were in fact princes from Royal House of Stuart and from the Royal House of Stuart and the other Highland Highland Royal House houses who tried to reinstate the Stuarts to the to, to the throne of the three kingdoms. The Stuarts were shipped all over the West Indies, Barbados, uh Leeward, Leeward Islands, Leeward Islands, Jamaica, Trinidad, Tobago, Antigua, Cayman Islands, Dominican, uh Dominica, uh Grenada. Uh, Mont Montserrat, uh, and Antiquela, Saint Lucius, uh, Grenade, Gren, uh, Grenada, Grenadine, Grenadine, how we say, it, America, and Tuck Island. If you live in one of these de destinations. And your and your last name is Stuart. You are probably a descendant of King James the Sixth mm, of Scotland. See the ships manifest on the next page. Mm. The ship, the ship Elizabeth and Anne, seventeen sixteen. List of rebel prisoners. Royal Sea imported by Captain Ed Edward Track Trackford. So we got King James Stuart, King Charles I Stuart, and King James II Stuart. So we got names like Duncan Clark, Robert, 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 Duncan Clark, Owen McPherson, Joan or Joan Stewart, Donald Shaw, Malcolm Stewart, Angus Shaw, John John Stewart, or, uh, yeah, uh, Robert Bruce, John Dubar, Dunbar, hmm, uh, John Kennedy, 
Rob Smith, Rob Stewart, Rob Stewart, William Turner, James Nis Nisbet, John Stewart, James McKin McIntosh, Francis Hume, and then John, somebody else. If you look closely at the ship manifest, Elizabeth and Anne, you can see that the last name Stuart is represented. These Stuarts are the descendants of King James. The name Stuart will occur frequently on more than one ship manifest because the royal seed is being deported into the colonies. The following 83 are identified free black Scots, Roman citizens. Wow. Alex Watt. Alex uh, Macken, Mac, Mackenzie, John Wood, William uh, Donaldson, James Robertson, Frederick Abbott, uh, Dan, Dan Mc, McQuinn, Alex Bruce, William Wright, Rob C C Kaplan, John uh, Potello, John Peter, Patrick Ferguson, John Johnston, John Finney, John McComb, McComb, Malcolm, James McComb, James McComb, Malcolm, Alex uh, Ferguson, William Strock, a uh, William Stroke, uh, James Ferguson, John M Mackey, uh, James McIntosh, Lawrence Ferguson, William. Uh, Mac Ruthers, John Donaldson, David uh, McIntosh, William Noble, Alex Kerr, Robert Grant, James uh, Uroqua, mm -hmm. um, Robert Duncan, John Brown, John James Ray, um, Malcolm Malcolm McIntosh. Oh no, Mac Mac. Mac Newton, Mac Northen, uh, Donald uh, Mick Mick, or uh, Donald MacGilla, Mac MacGillsroy, uh, James Michael, uh, Sylvester Prophet, um, John Glendin, 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 Glendin um, George Major, Major 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 Banks. George Harris, John Chisholm, or Chisholm, William Finlay, John Peterson or Patterson, John Arnott, James Peter, John Olavy, Olavy, yep, Olavy, uh, James Watson, James Lindsay, and John Johnson. Look at the map on the next page. At the, the, the white English ship, uh, the entire black Highlander population of Scotland into, okay, look at the, page, the, the map on the next page. The white English ship, with an ED, the entire black Highlander population of Scotland into the American colonies. These black Scots were the indentured servants that you read about in high school. But to hide, to, hide, to hide the truth, to lie, they simply reclassified the blacks as, as white indentured servants. Take a deep breath. Breathe in Hebrew Barah. <laughs> ah, and look at the names on the ancient Scottish maps. Now, these names are small family. I can't, you know, say that on the ancient. They're really small. But he said, if you look at the name, take the time to look at the name. And I, I've done, looked at some of them. But it says, look at the names on this ancient Scottish map. Do you see the last name? Do you not know someone with, with, a, with the last name on this map? These black Scots were placed on convict ships and headed uh, to Africa where another cargo was waiting for, for the pickup, the West Af the West African slaves, two different groups uh, of blacks arrived in the West Indies and Americas. 
One had the unfortunate fact of being a slave and the other an indentured servant. I explained this in great detail in Negro Questions Part 4. The African slave ship that came from Judah back in the ship, back in the ship manifest. Every name on this ship manifest is that of a black Scot, Scottish Highlander and a royal steward house. Names, uh, Robert Robinson, James M M Murray, uh, John Mundell, uh, William L Lyon, uh, Hugh Kane, Charles Henderson, Carr, uh, Alexander Stewart, McIntosh, John Stewart, Alex Stewart, Robert Carr, John Shaw, John uh, Abercrombie, John Abercrombie, Abercrombie, mm -hmm. uh, St Rob Stewart, Pat Stewart, uh, John Stewart, William Custer, uh, William Dunn, and John Rutherford. Every name on this ship manifest is that of a black Scottish Highlander and the Royal Stewart House. Ship John and Sarah, 1650. James Stewart, James Watson Stewart, Austin Stewart, uh, Stewart Chicago Stewart, Cha, Cha Stewart, Stewart Cha, Sta, 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 Stewart, Cha Stewart, or Stewart Cha. It's just spelled Stewart, two different ways. S, S T is uh, they just spelled different ways. Uh, Stewart uh, Nile, Stewart Ro Robert, Robert Stewart, William Stewart, uh, Nellie Stewart, uh, Charles Stewart, um, Austin Stewart, James Watson Stewart, uh, Austin, uh, Austin Stewart Watson. Well, ship, the good speed, mm, 1716, Liverpool, England, uh, to, an an to Annapolis, Annapolis, Maryland, 18, uh, uh, October 18, 1716. I've only listened to the last name, Stewart, Stewart, um, Stewart that is found on the ship's manifest. The list of, re of rebel prisoners transported into this province in the ship Goodspeed on the 18th day of October, uh, Anno uh, Domini, 1716, with the names of the persons who purchased them. Prisoner's name, Donald Stewart, John Stewart, purchaser of uh, Richard Eag uh, uh, Eglin, and John Middleton. Now that I have had, now that I have time to look at the available data and analyze it, I can see that the indentured servants began pouring into the Black 13 colonies in 1716 during the reign of King George I. I don't know if it was zeal or racism that caused the colonial historian to write that the first slaves came into Virginia in 1619. Who can tell what was running through the minds of the post-colonial colonial historian or even this modern historian when he writes uh, glowingly about slavery in the original 13 colonies. The dates for the British slave trade are inflated and I would argue this point uh, with the best of these scholars. British involvement in the enslavement of men must be dated from the time of George, uh, Georgia Charter uh, was reckoned in the year 1751. Georgia was the first British colony to legalize slavery and thus this is the true date for the British involvement in human trafficking. This means that slavery existed in the British colonials or the British colonies for only 114 years. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. It's like this is another shift manifest. This is page 129. I'm gonna stop there, family. Um, again, these are not my findings. I'm reading a book. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily agree with everything in it because I don't know everything in it. But I, I, I respect Professor uh, Cummings and. Uh, I'm just sharing this information. You may have different information, you may have more updated information. I don't know, but I'm just reading it for this month for Black History. 
all right? Just something I was led to do. I started it last year and I didn't complete it. So I'm going to complete it. I got a few more days in this month. And I think we will get through it. All right. So we're going to be on page 130. One thirty on tomorrow. All right, family. Take it for what it's worth. We've got plenty of information out here. This is not the only resource for information. Um, as I said, we take no claims on on what I'm reading. This is oh, I have permission to read this from. Uh, uh, um, Professor Cummins uh, from his own mouth, all right? Um, he also has a video out that he has already uh, uh, supplied me with, and uh, I'm going to be showing it privately on uh, uh, on Zoom, uh, and I will be inviting some people in to come in and check it out. So if you want to be a part of that Zoom, it should be tomorrow. Uh, my daughter's coming over. Um, I actually met uh Professor Cummings to her, and she's coming over, and we're going to watch it. I've watched it already. Um, very interesting video. A lot of this information that we're reading is in there, plus some because it's a more of a summary of all of his work. All right. So um, that being said, family, thank you for being in the book room again <laughs> tonight. Um, so you are probably getting tired of me, but um, as long as the Ruag leads me and prompts me to 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 to. Uh, uh, to get the word out, I'm gonna do it. All right. It's better to obey, it's better to obey God, Yah, than man. Hallelujah. All right. So that being said, thank you again, family. All those that are in the room. Hallelujah. Um Ox Standback, uh the lose. Ox Standback said, Yahushua said, He that have an ear, let him hear what the Ruach is saying to. That's right. You gotta let you gotta have a rule off the here. Hallelujah. Uh Lisa Porter's watching. Good to see you, Sister Lisa. Bless you, my dear. Good evening. I'm doing well. Thank you. And uh uh, uh um Iman Radcliffe, see you in the room tonight, too. Thank you all so much. We're gonna we're gonna get through that book. Hallelujah. But we will be back on next Thursday, y'all willing, uh, with uh, our reading. We read the first five chapters of the book of Jasher. And we will be uh, uh, returning to that on Thursday night at 8 o'clock, y'all willing, and then Friday at 8 o'clock, and then on Shabbat uh, morning at 10 p.m., 10 a.m. And we're trying to, we're try to get through Joshua. It's quite, a, it's quite a long read, so I may come in uh, sooner in the week. Um, I'm done. I'm really uh, comfortable here. I'm at my daughter's house, and I'm just got my little table set up and I'm just going on and doing stuff. And, and I did a teaching earlier. You can go check that out. Um, uh, 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 it was uh, the Sabbath. The, the, yeah, the Sabbath sanctify the Sabbath uh, sign of sanctification. That's what we did earlier at three, about three thirty. We started the Sabbath. The Sabbath are sanctify us our sign of sanctification and it says that you might know that i the lord have sanctified you that's uh ezekiel 20 and 12 i believe all right so we did that teaching at three so go on and check it out um and with that being said family love you all and uh may you have a wonderful uh evening or rest tonight and wait and may y'all wake you up tomorrow to do it all over again hallelujah we continue to get this word out Hallelujah. All praise. All right, family. With that being said, be at peace. Shalom.